That's what she said. Yep, that's what she said. Every time I come around, she acting shy. She be looking good, she be looking fly. She told her mama that I make her feel like. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm really excited because I'm gonna be showing you all another finger comber unit. My last video you all really enjoyed and I was able to show you all how to really make your finger comber unit work. This one is a shorter unit and it actually puts me in the vein of the big chop I did. In May of last year, I did the second big chop and I cut my hair into a tapered cut. So I'm gonna get a chance to see my hair like that again. And you all will probably reminisce a bit <laughs> seeing my hair short. Not really the same exact look, but very similar. My hair has grown out now, so I can't really enjoy that look a lot. And many people were telling me, oh my God, like you're really inspiring me to wanna cut my own hair. But you can just get a unit and actually create the same look without having to cut your own hair. So we're gonna get into this unit. I actually tried the unit on last night, so I'm excited to show you all what it looks like. I don't actually have to leave out any hair because I actually have my hair. Well, I'll leave out a little bit, but it's very minimal. This particular unit doesn't require much leave out at all. I literally have my hair cornrowed all back and I'm just gonna have a little something something like right here out. So let's take the unit out. I do want to show you all what it looks like in the box. I did put it back in the box and everything so you all can see what you'd receive. So it comes in this cardboard box and it has a picture of the style and I'll actually put it on the screen so you all can see a little better. So this is the card with a little dialogue about the kinky coily taper bob and it has this really cute photo of an individual in the unit and it's so, so pretty. So I'm gonna take it out and honestly, when I tried it on last night, I was kind of nervous about it, y'all. And I'll tell you why. And this is what the unit looks like. Now, when I originally took it out, I was like, is this a full wig? I was so confused because it looks, look how small that looks, guys. I wasn't sure what this was about to look like on my head. So let me show you the inside construction before I actually put it on and everything. So it comes with a long comb at the top, very long. So that's gonna add some really good security. And there's a comb at the bottom. And this one is also long. So you only get two combs, one at the top, one at the bottom. The unit is rather stretchy though. And thank God it is because that threw me off because of how small it looks. And I actually was thinking last night, like this would actually be one that you could also use as maybe a puff. So if you were to have, look at that. Like, if you were to take the unit, and I don't, I don't even want to show y'all my braids because they look real busted, like bad. But we family, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take it off, and I'm gonna end up having to take the stocking cap off. I'd recommend when you wear these units, don't wear a stocking cap because this particular unit is very spacious in regards to the spacing of the west. So if you have a stocking cap on you're gonna be able to see it. If somebody's standing behind you, they'd probably be able to see the stocking cap. And you don't want that. So I'm gonna take the stocking cap off. I'm gonna do it real quick so y'all can't see my braids. <laughs> I don't want y'all to see. Cause they look jacked, y'all. Okay, so when I originally tried on the unit, I was like, what in the world? Like, it's not gonna cover my whole head. That's what I was nervous about. So if you wanted to, you could have braids in the front and just wear it as a half wig if you desire. I actually saw someone wearing it like that on their site. Like, look, y'all. It looks cute right now. And I don't have it all the way up. So you could wear it as a half wig, but it stretches so that you can pull it and actually bring it forward much more. Now, I wanted my braids in the front. Like, I didn't slip my hair down and get it all nice and late like I generally would because I wanted to create some fuzzies in the front so that it would kind of conceal where the start of the unit is. So we're just gonna lay it down. And it's looking good already. Like, look at that y'all. Look at that. Don't even need leave out. It looks so good. 
And it shocked me because you don't even like look. If you wanted to, you could pull it forward, not have any parting, any of your edges out, and you're good. Like that's a look. How cute is that? Like, look at this look. You didn't actually have to go to the salon, sit in a, a dryer, have them cut your hair, anything, and you get the tapered look. And it looks really natural. Like, this looks so cute. And I love, I always like the coils on the end. They look so good in like our natural hair. And also, if you wanted to wear it with like a, you wanted to have like a minimal part on the side, you could try, kind of just sweep it and like separate it here. And then you take your little leave out. So I'm just gonna take a little bit. Y'all saw how much leave out. Like literally, this is not even leave out. This is my baby hair that just kind of came out of my braids. And then you just pull that back some. You pull that back and it covers the West. You can't even see it. How cute is that? That's so cute, right? It's shaped very nicely. Now in the back, I will say when you touch it, like I really don't know what the back looks like for real because I can't see back there. I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see. It does feel like it's not really a whole lot of hair back there. But when I saw it prior to putting it on, it looked like it was filled in. So, But it look, it feels sparse. Do you know what I mean? So it feels sparse, but I don't know what it looks like. So I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see what the back looks like. I hope it looks good back there. It looks good from the front, but I don't know what the back looks like. So let's turn around. Like, I don't know if it looks sparse or not. And you may have to, just to fill it out a little bit, like pick the roots off. Don't mess with the ends though, but pick the roots to give it a little bit more volume to cover the area, but I hope it actually covers it. All right, y'all, so I went to switch my lipstick a bit. That bright red was just really throwing me off and I don't know if that looked good on me. <laughs> so I actually lined my lips with brown liner and went in with some Granduja chocolate that I always talk about around my lips just to deepen the red. And I feel like this looks so much better. But yeah, guys, this cut is absolutely gorgeous. And you could wear it a number of different ways. You could do with the bangs in the front and that's gonna look funky and edgy. Like, look at that. How awesome does that look? I've seen people do this look with like crochet braids and different things like that to achieve this type look. And it looks great, but a wig that you could throw on, no leave out, and it looks amazing. Like this is so gorgeous. And I'm so shocked that I actually was able to put this on without any leave out. Cause as I showed you all, I have braids under here and I only have this little bit of hair right here that's out. And I don't even necessarily have to have that. So that's really, really cool. And if you wanted to give it a little more volume at the top, just take your fingers and just kind of fluff it out some. And that's gonna give you some extra little sauce. You know what I mean? And I really like that they created this look with like a, like it has like a flat twist and curl type look. I like that a lot. It looks like a natural hairstyle. Like it's not like a wash and go type look, but rather a really fluffy, like twist and curl type look, which is really cute. And another cool thing about this particular unit, if you wanted to now use it as like a puff, I feel like it would be easy to do that. You could actually just take it, and I don't wanna take it off because it's position well, but you can take it because of how small it is and just pin it maybe here at the top of your head and then add a scarf around it and that would look really, really cute. Like you actually have a nice high puff. Let me try just showing you all really briefly how that would look. So you could just take it, move it up at the top. You could just move it up here And you see how it's already kind of forming a puff? You can take some pins, just pin it here, 
Then take a scarf, like the one I had on earlier, or a different one. You can use like an Ankara print or whatever kind of scarf you want to use. Just take that and kind of wrap it around like this, and you'd have another cool look. And it's not going to be super big and massive and long because it's a short unit. So that would be a really cool look as well. Now let's get into shipping. I do want to go on the website and explore that a little more because I know that can be a bit confusing for some of you all. I've received a few DMs and questions about it, so I felt like it was better for me to share that with everyone. If you go to the area, there's an area at the bottom of the screen where they have facts and uh, information about exchange policy, and there's an area about shipping on the website. I do have a code in the description box that gives you all expedited shipping. And when you use that code, you should see a penny taken off of your, uh, your total amount. That's an indicator that it actually went through. Now, the way that they do their expedited shipping is much different from how you and I probably perceive it to be. So generally, most standard shipping is probably about five to seven days. But for them, there's a processing and manufacturing time that you also have to factor into the amount of time that's going to take for you to get your unit. So standard shipping for them and processing and everything generally takes, they have on the website notoriously longer than if you have a code. So that code is going to speed up the process some, but it's not going to speed it up to where it's like two or three days or anything like that. Because on the website, in the area at the very bottom of the screen, if you look for where it says shipping, it indicates that there's a, I believe, two day processing time. And let me look at it to be sure. So you all can anticipate the amount of time it's gonna take. So this is not a unit that you're gonna be able to get super fast. So under the help section, that's where it's located, you'll see shipping. So if you click on that, it says that when you order your unit, it takes up to two business days to process. So it's two days to process. And then after that processing time, there's a 10 day window that you need to give for them to actually create your unit. So these units are made to order. They are not units that are already pre-stocked. There is an area that has units that are in stock and readily available to be shipped. And those units are called their quick ship units. So if they have a unit on the website that's under the quick ship option, those are gonna ship out much faster. They have those readily available, they're in stock. But all the other units, if it's not in that section, then it is gonna take longer for those to come. So there's usually like a 10 day manufacturing or crafting or designing process that they actually go through in order to do that. And the weekends don't count. So it's pretty much 10 business days. So if it's taking longer for your unit to come, that's why. And the expedited shipping just speeds up the normal process or shipping time that generally happens. So instead of getting the regular ground shipping, you get a priority shipping. So I hope that makes sense. So you can anticipate your unit maybe taking like, um, I believe a subscriber told me that it took them 20 days. That's pretty normal. And they actually shared with me today that they have a higher than normal volume of orders and I think it's because of my last video y'all went crazy buying that unit and you're gonna love it I believe you will if you actually follow the things that I shared in my last video this one is also really good but know that it's not one that's under that quick ship option and this is something that I would recommend for anyone who's purchasing anything online especially hair every company is not the same in regards to their turnaround in manufacturing and also shipping out their units so be sure to check the shipping information on the website. Look for that. And if you're uncertain as to where it is, you all can feel free to send me a message and ask me so that I can kind of help out in that way. But look for that before you order so that you aren't disappointed because it's taking longer than you anticipate it. Because oftentimes companies will have that in the shipping section on their website. So you can eliminate the assumptions or um, frustration that comes along with that if you look in that area. So I hope that helps. But I hope that you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video with a friend and tell them watch the entire video. Some of you all are not watching the entire video and you have all these questions. <laughs> watch the whole video, y'all. I love y'all and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. Let me tell you something. Yes, I know.